Yeah, did you see the... Um, I just saw the clip of George Galloway being interviewed by the BBC. Right. And the whole piece was a part of a political broadcast for the Labour Party oh. by the BBC. Oh, really? And, yeah. I don't, I don't know whether you've seen the clip or not, but George Galloway was, was really on the offensive, taking right umbrage to, to having his message mm -hmm. interrupted constantly right. with him taking away votes from Labour voters. Ah, so basically the... the... Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the interviewer, the way they were phrasing the questions was basically focusing on the battle. Well, they weren't phrasing Labour. questions. They were saying, do you think that you're going to be taking votes away from the Labour Party? Wow. Uh, and, yeah, the whole sort of two and a half minutes of this interview yep. was literally plugging the Labour Party yep. by the BBC. That's a bit which odd. Which is another... Um, Oh, another course. reason to defund the BBC. To get oh, yeah, exactly. Because this is the sort of thing, as you were saying in my head, uh, creating like, like an example, it would be more normal for, uh, to have like CNBC in the US having that conversation with a, 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 an independent candidate who's taking away the votes from a Democratic candidate. And then they ask, obviously, because they're left wing media. So they will ask, oh, do you not think you're taking the vote from the Democrats? Yeah, but the BBC are not supposed to be like CNBC. They're, they're, they're not even supposed to be like Sky News because of the BBC charter. Um, so they have to be extra impartial because mm. that's how they were created. So it makes no sense that they get away with all these things. And it's really weird that there are all these campaigns, you know, defund the BBC, or expose the BBC. There's like been historically a lot of anti-TV license campaigns, a lot of social media campaigns and accounts that expose the uh, BBC's uh, hypocrisy every single day. Yet nothing's been done about it. And I'm when I say nothing's been done. I'm not necessarily or oh, the government getting rid of the TV license and reforming it. Not just that, but the, the in terms of the BBC executives feeling the pressure to be forced to change a bit themselves. They're not even like, they don't even care. They're not even changing. Um, even um, the Met uh, the, the, and, and the police, when they are when they receive criticisms, a lot of times they sit down and then we've, we've had statements and all the changes. And sometimes they actually make changes. Like, you know, okay, we have to change tack or we have to... Um, it's the same thing with uh, about 10 years ago with the kettling uh, during the student uh, union, uh, student fees uh, protests. And uh, a lot of time, for some reason, young people discovered the concept of kettling as if it didn't, it didn't exist before. <laughs> but there was a lot of debate around it. And then the Met was in Manchester and London separately. They dealt with kettling differently because of that. So sometimes more aggressive, sometimes less aggressive. Uh, but yeah, the BBC just don't, don't even care. It's really, really embarrassing that you know, we still have that in this country. But... It is what it is. <laughs> um, Leon, any question? Uh, well, I asked the, the, the main one, I think. Um, uh, how many people do you think were at the Freedom March? And mm, mm. do you see it? Mm -hmm. Do you see the rise in numbers mm -hmm. as a sign of the, the masses waking up and pushing back? Um, because my, my biggest concern is that too many people um, are just accepting what's happened and oh. nobody's pushing back um but yeah. now i'm starting to see it and I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit hopeful but yeah so how many and how many yeah over to you uh, first it, tim you were gonna say well uh, i pushed back i went up to london on monday and came back on tuesday i stopped with a friend uh, and, and met up with a couple of people mm. and i didn't wear my mask on the train or on the underground, yep. and nobody approached me. Oh, yeah, they don't, they don't really care anymore, even the authorities um, just, yeah, in London. So, so from that perspective, I'm pushing back. 